We go to visit our son. We go to a cemetery. We stand there and look at a stone. A mother surrounded by law enforcement and heartbroken family trying to put into words what life has been like without her son, police officer Anthony Dwyer. Every two years, she makes the same plea to the New York State Parole Board to keep her son's killer behind bars. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It's like having a cop knock on your door again and tell you that something happened to your son. Anthony Dwyer was just 23 years old when he was killed. Police say a robbery suspect pushed him off a building in Times Square in 1989. His convicted killer, Eddie Matos, is now up for parole. My son will never get a chance to come back to his family. This guy does not deserve a chance either. He should stay there and rot in hell as far as I'm concerned. The Patrolman's Benevolent Association putting up a fight for this family, the same way it did for the loved ones of other slain police officers. We're worried because last week a killer was allowed to walk out these doors to freedom. If they'll kill a uniformed New York City police officer, they'll kill you. Two weeks ago, convicted cop killer Herman Bell was released on parole after the board decided his debt had been paid to society. He spent more than four decades in prison after ambushing, shooting, and killing two police officers. They let that guy out, and I said, please, God, this is not going to be a continuous thing that every cop killer who's up for parole is going to get out, walk out free. Some family members wrote letters to the parole board Friday. Others spoke, hoping their words get read and heard. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.